upright and that is a leader's call. We have to follow our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because he came to set us free, free from bondage, free from some tradition and culture that is not godly, that is ungodly. It's not from God. It's something that man put it up for man. And I believe that God will help us. So Holy Spirit lead us and guide us this wonderful morning. Because he is our ruler, our guide, and our sustainer. He is our teacher, and he is our strength. Ya oikemdo, do kako ni baka tukai me baka buvuli. Ni sa ando maunga na no mundo i baka buvuli. Yendo sa wewe kani kedenga. Do kako talenga ni baka tukai me ndua i tama mundo i burabura. Ni sa ando maunga na tama mundo u. Kukwaya may lumalangi. Do kako talenga ni baka tukai me turanga. Ni sa ando maunga na no mundo u turanga. Kokoya na karisto ia kokoya sa uus vidake vikemdo me nomdo tamata kokoya ia kokoya ena baka lebu lebu ikoya ena baka molo molo mutaki ia kokoya ena baka molo molo mutaki koya ena baka lebu lebu i in just one look you can you can see very clearly that our God hates pride our God hates those who lift up themselves, especially to be equal to God or something like God. You are idolizing yourself. If anything that you want to idolize, idolize God in our life. And that is the reason you need to testify what God is doing in your life. Because if you not, then you are telling the people indirectly that whatever you achieve in this life, it's your own good. It's your own strength. You do it yourself. The reason why you testify, because you want to tell the people, hey, what I have now, or it's not with my good works. It's not with me. Hallelujah. And it's an honor, it's a privilege to continue to to praise and to reward where it's really due. So I take this time to, to reward my family, to thank my family, thank my wife, thank my children, because they are the one who help me, assist me, and they are the one who give me strength, happiness, and joy. They are the one. My wife, uh, this November will be 39th year of our marriage. So I have to honor her, I have to acknowledge her every time. And my children, and now it's my grandchildren. And uh, even though we are, we are leading the church, but we, we always honor the church leaders that they come, they listen, and they believe in the preaching, the words that we share. Hallelujah. So when we testify, regardless of our denomination, regardless of our ministry, and regardless of who we are, when we testify, we are telling the people what the Lord is doing in your life. Whether they, there's a blessing, you testify. You are telling the people, look, this is what God done in my life. God gave this. Maybe there's a man, maybe there's a woman, maybe there's a couple, or maybe somebody else that blesses you. But remember, they cannot do that unless God move in their life. So, when you testify, remember, you are cutting off the pride and the arrogance, the self-centered in our life. Because you are trying to tell the people around you. You are trying to tell the people that they listen to you. The people maybe they can come closer to you that whatever you're going through and whatever blessings that you receive, whatever the achievement that you already achieved, it was through the hands and the working of our God. You know, sometimes when we talk about testimonies, people think otherwise.